Perfect. Perfect. Let me cover myself back up. I've been having my boobies out this whole video. Hey there. So it's another day of randomness. It's the weekend. We about to hit the streets. Mm, I need something on my lips. I'm a little bit tired, so we'll see how far this goes. Um, but what I wanted to do today, I saw this video on TikTok and it was a girl like, you know, explaining about like booby sizes and how to find your right bra fit and bra size and blah, 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 blah. So it's this website you can go to and you put in all of your measurements and then it tell you what your bra size would be. I feel like I have, it. if this is correct, I feel like my whole life has been a lie because I've always had small boobs after I had my son and I breastfed, they kind of deflated. If my breastfeeding mama's out there, no, they kind of deflated. Like they deflated. So like I have like a shallow boob. So I don't got much going on up here, but you know, my fullness is kind of, kind of low. Anywho, I've been like an AB entire life. This website, once I put my measurements in, said 32C slash D. And I'm like, where? This is padding. I'm like, where? Who is who is a CD? So I'm gonna go buy a bra. I'm gonna buy a 32C and I'm gonna buy a 32D. But what is true though is my current bras, I do, like this one is kind of small. This is a 30, 34B. This one is kind of small on the cup size. And I was like, you know, they're right because I do got a little bit of spillage on the side. But then I also have bras where it'd be like that extra gap. I'll have to show y'all later. But I am going to go buy the recommended bra size and we're going to see if this actually works. I will be shooketh if this bra fits. Whole life been a lot. Whole life. So we're going to try that. I got to go pick up some vinyl. I'm in the process of designing some t-shirts, so I gotta go pick up some vinyl for that. And you know, let's just get started with the day. I need to eat something first. I don't really have anything to eat here. I need to just go out and grab something, but what am I gonna go grab? So I actually ended up coming home and taking a nap. I was tired. I thought I got hardly anything done. All I did was went to go pick up my vinyl, came home, ate a salad, and took a nap. So it's like three, almost four o'clock. I'm about to go run to Hobby Lobby and Target. I gotta go, I have to try this bra. So that's where we are headed right now. Maybe I can have some sort of a productive day today. We'll see. All right, made it to the bras. Now I just want a cheap little everyday bra. Something like this. I'm gonna try something without padding. 32, 34. Okay, these bras are kind of like mixed in all over the place. Let's see if we can find our size. 32C, they claim. 32C. Oh my gosh. 34C. Damn, can I find a 32C? Okay, this ain't well shit, this ain't and this ain't working out so good so far. Let me find these bras and I'll I'll check back in. Okay, well I only found two bras, so I was looking for a 32D, but they didn't have one of those. But as big as this C cup is, there is no way my boob is gonna fit into a D. No way. So let me just continue on with my shot. You know, it's about time you can come back into the store and find a plethora of Clorox wipes on the shelf. It's ridiculous. Okay, so we're about to get real personal right now. So here is what my current bras look like. This one is actually, it almost feels like this one is a little bit too small because you can see I got some spillage right here and I got a little bit of this going on right here. This is actually a 34B. So with this bra, it made me think like, hmm, maybe the cup size is too small because, you know, I'm kind of 
coming out a little bit. You know, if you see my arms is down, you can see a little, you know, a little bit of that. Let me try on another bra so you guys can see what I mean. Here's another bra example. If you can tell from the side, like I have this space right here. You see this, like I have a gap. A lot of my bras do that. Like at the top, I'll have this gap. So then it was like, maybe I do wear the wrong bra size. So let's put on these 32 C's. I can't believe I'm saying this C. And see if it fits me better. This is so weird. What? Wait. Is my, my whole boob in there? Is my whole... What? Is my whole boob in there? This is a C? No way. It looks so little. But my whole boob is in there. Look. And before what I would do, if I would lean over in my bra, it would be so much gap like right here. Are you kidding me? I... <laughs> This, let me make sure to say what it's saying. 32 C. This is a C cup. I am shocked and dismayed. Let me try on the other one. Let's just make sure. Maybe this is a fluke. Let me try on the other one just to make sure. Man, what? You mean to tell me these little bitty. This got some padding in it. But you mean to tell me my little bitty boobs is supposed to be in a C? Now, see, no wonder they got bra sizes that be like double H. JK LMNOP because the people we've been bamboozled our whole life. It's a little bit of gap on this side. I don't know if this is just because it's laying down on this side. Maybe I just got irregular boobs, but what the website I think it's called. I can't remember what it's called. It's called Bra Fit Fit something. I'm going to put the link down so y'all can go see because this is a game changer. This actually feels really comfortable. I am so shocked. Now I got to go buy new bras. I cannot. I can. Oh my good. And they fit in there so good. Look at that. I don't got the. When I picked that cup up, I was like, there is no way my little boobs is going to fit in this C cup. <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> who don't got no C cup boobs? Oh, <laughs> this is crazy. And it got the nerve to, they got the nerve to fit in there. My room is a mess. My bed, pillows tossed everywhere. I gotta clean up and get my, look, cups. I gotta get my life together over here. Um, But I'm about to, so if y'all can, if y'all can't tell, I ain't had a haircut in a couple of weeks and I am trying to grow my hair out because I want to get braids just to get braids that's it I'm gonna get my braids and then I'm probably gonna cut it right back off but I want to try rice water has anybody else tried rice water to get their hair to grow um I was watching some YouTube videos I was like nah, I'm gonna give it a whirl how much can I grow in like a month I really want to get braids before I go on a strip so I'm trying to figure out if I can grow enough hair that somebody can snatch and put some braids on. I'm about to mix up some rice water and we'll see if, see how it works and I'm going to give it a shot. I'll probably try it tomorrow. I'm going to let it soak for 24 hours and then I'll probably try to process tomorrow. So let me know if y'all had any good success with rice water. I'll, I'll let y'all know. I'm going to try it. Um, I'm going to try it for a month. I don't know how long you're supposed to try it for, but my, my goal is in four weeks to have some bra some some braids in my hair. I'm hoping. We'll see. What kind of rice are you supposed to use? Just any old rice? I got some jasmine rice. Can I use this? Maybe I should look this up before I venture off into Does it matter? Let me let me double check. It just say rice, cup of rice. Alright, this is what we're about to use. I'm gonna do the soaking technique. So uncooked rice and two cups of water. Half a cup of rice and two cups of water. Okay. All right. Um, I know I got a measuring cup, but I really don't feel like measuring. That's enough. Is that enough? Half a cup of rice. cup of rice and then two cups of water. Do I gotta rinse it first and then let it soak? I'm just 
second. I'm gonna just let that soak. We'll see what happens. All right, I need to clean house. My house is a mess. It's a mess in my eyes. Others might. Oh, I left my drink in the car. Ugh, this is what I feel like doing. I'm sitting right here on the couch, taking a little nap. So I am just now getting up and out of the house. It is, it's late. <laughs> it's four o'clock. I have been, I mean, sort of productive. I was doing some cleaning um, and then working on some stuff for my t-shirt line that's coming soon, friends. <sighs> so I'm just, I look a whole mess. I just rolled out of the bed. I said, let me get out and be productive on my Sunday. You know, I spent all week working for somebody else. The weekends, I got to do some stuff for myself. It's imperative. Especially since I want to get ahead. And I want to, you know, have my own. So, what do I need to do? Uh, doesn't look like I'm going to get to my... I always want to start a project and never finish a project. Is anybody else like that? Like, I wanted to do this art project. I didn't get the string for it. So, now it's going to probably get pushed off to next week. Oh, the procrastination. It be getting to me sometimes. I know I'm not the only one. <sighs> I want to go I want to go buy some more bras. Like, I want to try a 34C just to see how it fits. 34C, 34B. I don't know at this point. I just know that the 32 is just a little bit tight around the waist part but i feel like if i get a bigger waist size well the cup should be the same size no matter what i don't know i'm gonna try a 34c and see where we get with that i am still shocked that i can actually fit that and i need to go to office depot staples whichever whatever it's called these days to go pick up some labels for my t-shirts and yeah i'm just over here trying to start a business that's that's all i just i need to go to the grocery store too why am I just now getting out the house at four o'clock? Procrastination at its finest. This is a... You mean to tell me they don't have what I need? I need 5160 or 5167. Oh. 50. Okay, I don't think they, I don't think they have 5165, I need 60, oh this sucks, I might have this to go to Staples, oh here they go, 5160, $80, oh they would have been right here, okay that was a waste of my time, now I gotta go find a Staples or another Office Depot, okay. Okay, great for me. I didn't realize that this store was closing, so the labels were 50% off, so yay me. And just to think I was gonna go to some other store. Huh? Okay, Beyonce. <laughs> it's actually a nice day outside. Been in the house all day. I could have been out somewhere skating. But I was in the house take this off because I got pockets and I need my pockets oh yes I am going to take it off now because I'm hot uh, where else did I say I needed to go my memory is kind of crappy these days where else did I say I needed to go shit I can't even remember I know I need to go to the grocery store but there was somewhere else I wanted to go before the grocery store um okay and touch my face. I ain't gonna put my hand sanitizer on first. Oh well. Oh well. Mm. All right. I gotta figure out. Oh, I wanted to go back to Target. That's right. Okay. This Target had a much better selection. I got three bras that we're gonna try this time. So we'll see how this works out. Go home and try the 34 C. Okay. I'm back, and we about to try on the new bras. I feel like this whole vlog has been about my boobies. <laughs> 
So I'm just trying to help other people to see that we, sis, we may be out here wearing the wrong bra size. We gotta get it together in 2021. We need to know our correct bra size. So I'm gonna try on these new ones and see if, it, I don't know why I bought four. I was only supposed to just buy one to see if it fit and then I would have bought more, but I bought four. Okay, I, this is too big. We got space here. We got a whole space here. So what do I do? The 32 is too small in the this part, but this is a 34. I need like a 33. Okay, hey, see, this is the 32 and I got like this. Like even you can see it here, like I got this. What do we do? Like you can see, like it's, 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 look at that. Help, is, I need a bra specialist. The cup fits good on this. So do I need a 34B? That's what I've been my whole life is a 34B. Let me try these other 34Cs on. Just, it may have been the, the, the cut of the one bra. I'm gonna try the other 34Cs on and see what happens. I'm confused at this point. I don't know what to do. Here is a 34C. Now that fits better around this part. I guess for a racer back, it fits good. Let me try the last bra that I got. I think I'll keep this one because, uh, yeah, it's not too tight. Maybe I just got fat underarms. <laughs> I don't know. This is just like a little roll just sitting there. Maybe that's indicative of I need to do some armpit exercises or something. I need to do some weights and do something like this. <laughs> like, what is that? That feels good. I don't have a gap up here if that fits good let me see around the sides um which hook do i got it on i got it on the first hook okay now see that fits good okay so i think we have concluded that a 30 a 34 c is the best one that first bra it was just the cut of that bra or the brand of that bra that didn't fit me good, but this one fits good. Let's see how we look in a shirt. I, this ain't no, see I usually have padded push-up bras. This look like I ain't got no, this do not look like no C boobs. Look at that. That does not look like nobody C. What does that look like? It looks so little. Okay, 34 C it is. We, we finally figured out what the bra size is is 34 c that's crazy this is not a c boob okay all right in a minute i'm about to go cook some dinner let me cover myself back up i've been having my boobies out this whole video but let me uh in a minute i'm about to make some dinner because i'm a little bit hungry and uh yeah wait Where, where's the c where is the c where is a, let me close this door. <laughs> Where is a C? Where is a C? <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe, it. I swear. Like I used to think like if I ever wanted to get a boob job, I'm like, oh, I can be a nice C cup. But shit, according to this, I'm already a C cup. This ain't no C. <sighs> I gotta get rid of mine. What sir, what exercise you gotta do to get rid of this right here? Can somebody tell me in the comments? What exercise does it take to get rid of this? Some arm press, do I do something like this? Like, why is it a little? We are so critical of our bodies, it's ridiculous. All right, let me go find something to eat. Okay, so I gotta do my rice water. Is this right? I have to see. I'm gonna pour this over in here. It's my little strainer thing. Strainer. Ooh, hot. All right, I'm just making something up as I go along. Let's see if this works. Mm. 
No rice didn't even move. I didn't even need the strainer. Okay. Well, I'll be trying this tonight. What do we do with the rice? Cook it? I'm throwing it away. We got plenty of rice around here. Uh, or I'll just, hmm. All right, there go my rice water. We shall try this later. All right, I'm about to just whip up some dinner real quick. I'm just gonna make some um, some uh, pasta using this Alfredo sauce from uh, from Kroger. I'm gonna add some, maybe some mushrooms. I think I got some mushrooms. Maybe some mushrooms, some spinach. Don't wanna add broccoli. Oh, and I got these chicken. So I found these as sprouts. The brand is kind of called like, like, like meat. They have a couple of different like chickens. They got a barbecue chicken, a grilled chicken. I forgot what the other ones are. I think they got chicken nuggets. So I'm just gonna add a few of these pieces in to the pasta. So let me just throw this on real quick. Don't take it personal, I ain't lying. I ain't hiding, I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up. Staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't ask me, cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Taking time out to be and live my life. Never mind my fan in the back that usually cuts on when the oven is on and the microwave gets too hot, so it's loud. I'm about to eat my dinner. Go use my rice water while I take my shower and then I'm off to bed. Hi, we out in the streets. It is a beautiful day. Is it windy? Let me roll the windows up for a second. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood and we are out in the streets. I have to run a few errands. It's a lovely Sunday afternoon. Got up a little late, it's two o'clock down. Yesterday, it rained all day, so I didn't even bother to pick up the camera, y'all. I didn't do nothing but lay on my couch. I was bored. Got some stuff done around the house. That was about it. Today, we outside. I'm gonna run my couple errands. My eyebrow pencil went out on me when I did one and a half eyebrows, so I might be looking crazy. Um, but I wanna go skating. I'm absolutely going skating today. I wanna go find, well, I gotta put too much air on my tire. I gotta let some of it out. I can feel it. I had to just put some air in my tires because they was a little low. But I'm going skating. That's the moral of the story for today. And now I'm hot in this hoodie that I got on. But we gonna work it out. So. I don't know what I'm doing with my natural hair. I really don't. 
what to do with my natural hair i'm trying to figure it out i ain't about to be wasting all this money on these hair products I'm trying to figure out what works for me i'm gonna just try that and if it don't work we're just gonna be looking a little dry until i could get some braids that's the goal though i don't really plan on wearing my natural hair out i'm just growing my hair so i can get some braids so you know in the meantime we just gonna look a little look at my edges is gone the last time I got some braids that actually snatched my edge out. That's why we a little, little ball here on the, on the edges. But, whoo child, it is hot. I need to take this sweatshirt off. I don't know what I thought I was doing. I finally found a good parking lot to come skate in. The parks that I went to, it was just too many people there. And I don't like being around a lot of people. I get a little, like, mm, a little shy when I go places and it be a bunch of people out when I'm by myself. So I'm just like, uh, I want to skate where there's nobody. So I found a good parking deck. Like there's nothing on this level. There's some cars over here, but it's like nothing, like no traffic. So I'm gonna skate over here. Great. Nice parking lot. All well not all to myself, but no one's around. I can just skate freely. It's <sighs> wonderful. Got my music playing. It's supposed to be skate music, but I don't know how this ended up coming on. <sighs> shirt i'm trying to get backward skating but i'm going back and i get so nervous and i'll be trying to look back and then i just lose my balance plus it's cracks in the ground which i'm okay with the cracks going forward but when i go back i just feel like the cracks just mess me up so hopefully i don't bust my ass to do now sit down and relax i want to cook dinner well i'm going to cook dinner i got this vegan rib recipe that i want to try that they've been making it all over one of my vegan um vegan soul some kind of vegan soul facebook group so i'm gonna try that recipe in a little bit but right now i just need to relax my body is tired i was skating for a, a while so i'm gonna just chill for a little bit I was skating so hard, like my legs actually hurt. I feel like I'm walking like I'm bow legged. <laughs> oh, okay. I sat down for all of like 15 minutes. Oh, I could feel it in my whole body. That was a whole workout, honey. I was getting it in. All right, I feel like now I'm about to just, I'm gonna just make the ribs, the vegan ribs right now because I feel like I'm gonna get lazy and not, and then I'm not gonna wanna get back up and do it. So I'm gonna show you all how I make my ribs. So it's gonna be making beyond using beyond meat, beyond beef, and jackfruit. The recipe, the recipe actually calls for impossible meat, but I don't really like impossible meat. So I'm gonna use the beyond beef instead. Hey 
There is the ingredients, the jackfruit, seasonings, brown sugar, barbecue sauce, and liquid smoke. big like meatloaf looking thingy and then section it out into ribs. So maybe I'll do, I'll cut them in half. Maybe I'll cut half of them in half and we'll just, we'll see if I should have did it like this or like this. So the recipe say keep it in for an hour and 10 minutes. Seems like a long time. Uh, I'm gonna check it halfway through. I don't want them to get dried out. But then after an hour and 10 minutes, then it says, hour and 10 minutes or hour and 20 minutes, let me see. Yeah, so keep it in for an hour. The recipe says to put it in for an hour and 10 minutes and then you put the barbecue sauce on it and then you let it cook for another 20 minutes. So an hour and a half sound like a long time for some vegan ribs. So I'm gonna check it about halfway through just to make sure, cause I don't want them to get dry and dried out, but we'll see how they turn out. Okay, we got 24 minutes left, but they really smelling. So let me just take these out and have a closer look. See. I don't know if they should, now see they feeling, they feeling a little, mm, they feeling done to me. They looking like they getting a little dry. So I think I'm gonna go here and put the barbecue sauce on. All right, let's go back in. Mm. not bad see I do think see my oven cook a little hotter and faster than other ovens so I should have stopped probably before the juices started burning that's when I should have put the barbecue sauce on they wouldn't have been as I mean, because the edges are a little crispy, but it's, it's, it has a really good flavor. I can't wait to eat this together. So I'm going to make some mashed potatoes and whatever vegetable and I got in there. I think I got some broccoli. It's going to be real simple. My friend's daughter just called me on FaceTime, so we're over here chatting. She's fine. What are you doing, Gia? I don't know if you should be doing that. Turn this down. All 
right, I'm about to try this food. I know my mashed potatoes is dry. I don't like gravy. I don't like none of that. I like my potatoes dry. So I'm gonna eat this. I'll let you all know how these ribs taste. I do recommend cooking them not as long. Check in on them. You just gotta check in on them. And then, um, yeah, let's see how this tastes. I'm gonna finish up my FaceTime with my girl because she's my little BFF. That's what she told me. Okay, yeah, so I cleaned my plate. Um, needless to say, it was pretty darn tasty. I will say that I would not cook them that long the next time. I don't know why it's at an hour and 20 minutes. I swear I could have got away with maybe like 40, 45 minutes in my oven. Maybe about 40 minutes, roughly. The hell? Maybe about 40 minutes and then another 10 minutes with the uh, barbecue sauce. Something like that. Something around there. Definitely not an hour and a half. Definitely not. But it was good though. It was good though. I know what to do for the next time. You know, sometimes when you try a recipe, you know, the first time it don't be right, you realize some tweaks you got to make. The second time is going to be, the second time is going to be it for sure. All right, I'm about to call it a night. So I'm going to do my um, rice water. This stuff smells terrible and fermenting. How long, any rice water people who've tried it, like how long are you supposed to use this for? Like, cause it smells terrible. Like at what point do you be like, okay, let me start all over and get some fresh rice water. Or can you just use it until it's gone? I don't know, but I'm gonna use it and spray on my hair. Got my little gray hairs, but I've been using it. I think I used it like maybe three times this past week. Four, I think I used it four. Three or four times this week. So I'm gonna do it today. And, oh, smells terrible. I put a little peppermint oil, oil in it. I had put a little peppermint oil in it to um, help it with the smell, but this shit stinks. Did that just go up my nose? Ew. But that's it. I'm just about to spray up my head. Take my shower. Get in my PJs. Edit this vlog, read a little something, and then carry myself to sleep. Because tomorrow is Monday, and on Mondays we work. I swear the weekends go by so freaking fast. Like, what is up with that? Why, why do the weekends go by so fast? All right, I think that's enough. Ooh, it smelled terrible. It smelled like ass with a side of peppermint, like for real, that's, that's the only way I can describe it. If anybody ain't never tried it before, that's what it smelled like. If you put some peppermint oil in it, if you don't put peppermint oil in it, it just smells like ass, okay? You put a little peppermint oil in it, it's ass with a side of peppermint. And then I'm gonna try my new products my new Cantu products. Listen, if these don't work, then I'ma just, you know, it is what it is. Cause ain't nobody got time to be spending all this money on these hair products, trying to find your right one. Then some of these is not cheap. But all right, you guys, thank you for hanging out with me. It's been fun. Until next time. Later.